good morning, hi. <clears throat> How's everyone today? Happy? Feeling good? Relaxed? My goodness, it's Saturday. The day you've all been working, working so hard for. The working class to be with your family, to be with your computer, to be with your dog, to step outside and breathe a little fresh air. Get away from those stupid games. And if you're smoking dope, don't smoke too much of it. You need your money. Honey. <laughs> uh, got an interesting poem today. Um, it's about, uh, of all people, Alexander Hamilton. I like doing these um, historical things. It's a little bit of my, my thing. Uh, a lot of hoopla about Alexander Hamilton ever since they came up with that play in New York that was nothing short of brilliant. Really, really brought to light the life of a very important man in America's history. If if anybody is learning history, I'm uh, under the impression that young people today don't know shit. Maybe it's... Uh, Split. Maybe there are those that got a good education and do know their stuff. And then there's the stupid ones that do nothing but play those stupid little games on their cell phone. Like fucking idiots. It's like that, na that game Fortnite. Uh, last night there was something on the news that Prince Harry out of England wants to ban it. You can't ban it. It's going to be up to you people. Uh, if you want to be on a little tiny cell phone playing your stupid... It reminds me of Mario Brothers. Let me tell you what happened to me. My mom got me that game, and I started to play it. For one week, I did not go to work. I stayed there, killing Mario, jumping hoops, jumping chimneys, like a retard. And then I realized how addicting it was. I packed it all up put it in the garage, and ever since then, I've never played one single game. Uh, my wife has a relative, an older guy, 70-something years, and he spends all day playing solitaire. Uh, I'm telling you, man, these games are nothing but addicting. There's got to be something better in life than to play solitaire all day on your little cell phone. Anyway... I'm getting too into it, so why don't I break off and read my poem and shut up. This is called Alexander Hamilton Died and Was Buried in a Grave. Alexander Hamilton and Was Buried in a Grave. Such a good guy I must... Such a good guy I have to and must say. I'm going to sit here and tell a bit of his tale. He was shot in a duel oh so long ago by a man that was cruel and had no remorse. Alexander, he lost, that made him the fool. Was that really necessarily true? Was that a necess necessity, this duel I speak of? I wish they could have talked instead, so everyone of a, had a different fate. I believe both men should put away his pride and not carry out this deadly fight. How Alex rose to such heights and was appreciated by most, except Alan Bird, who turned him into a ghost, and now he had killed him without any remorse. I do not know much about the man and his many struggles. I only know he helped our country when it was just beginning and helped it out of its troubles. America was like a newborn child, and Alex was one of the fathers. He set up the banking system, and for this he was appreciated. Few will forget this incredible man. Maybe this poem will clear up a few matters. One time on a sunny day, me and my wife were walking ever so gay. We were on vacation on an island called St. Croix. We were surprised when we bumped into a grave of this man who rose to such fame. His grave was all cleaned up and the air so tranquil. You rest easy, Alexander Hamilton. 
this is where you were born and they brought you back home. You are the hero of this, I'm sure. Very much appreciated by the many and the most. Well, that's it. I want to clear up something. This grave that we ran into, it might have been kind of like a memorial to him. Like a, like a, I'm not sure if he's buried there. He might have been buried in Washington, D.C. He might have had different graves. Where his body really ended up, I don't know. But this grave was all tranquil, something in the air. It was like so still. It was a moment, a moment for me to remember. Anyway, you, you guys have a good day and uh, please reshare. I have a lot of um, of these podcasts. I'm up to close to 200. I started somewhere in January. You could always go back and listen to some older episodes. I uh, have poems that are silly. I have poems that are historical. I have poems about love. I got it all, man. I got it all.